So I have this table in Excel here and what I'd like to do is I'd like to print it as a PDF. So the issue is that whenever I print it, I get an issue with the formatting. So I'll show you how I print it and the issue I'm getting and how we can overcome that issue uh, using some simple steps as well. So the first thing I do is I just select the table. So I select the very left top cell and then I go to control shift right and down and that selects the entire table. Now I can just go into page layout, print area and set print area. And then after that, I can simply click control P or however you print. And I've selected Microsoft print to PDF here. And as you can see, my table is coming here as four pages, right? So I have the month category, the all of the column headers, and this is being split into four pages. So this is page two. I don't even know what this is. Um, and then page three and then page four. So it's honestly just a bunch of nonsense uh, because the formatting is so bad. So let me show you how we can fix this formatting. Um, so of course I want the column headers to be showing in all tables, in all uh, pages rather. Um, but for this table, let's say I want all of this data to be printed in one page. So what I can do in that case is being in the page layout tab, I can go into my width and height and currently it's at 100%, I can change that and I can select one page width and one page height as well. So now it's gonna fit all of my data, so my print area, which is my table, into one page. However, you can see the scale has went down to 53%, which means now the print area, the one page has data that's going to be very tiny. So as you can see here, everything, the entire table is in one page, but it's definitely very tiny uh, to read. So what if I wanted this in multiple pages, but I want it to be formatted properly so that, for example, I can see the column headers clearly in each of my pages. And I also want to be able to see uh, column A and B in each page because these are the titles, right, for my data. So I want each page in my PDF to show column AB and to show the first row as well. And on top of that, I also want a page number below my PDFs so that when I print it into physical paper, it's easy to tell which page is in which order. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. So I'll go back to automatic for both width and height to keep the scale as it was before. And after that, I'm going to go into print titles and header and footer. And over here, I can select um, page numbers uh, because we're going to be printing multiple pages. I want page numbers and I want them in the footer. So I'm going to go into footer and I'm going to select a page uh, number format. In my case, I just want simply the page number. Um, so page one is an example here and I can see print preview. So it shows me Whenever I print a page in PDF, there's going to be a small display over here, a small footer that has the page number. Now, the second thing is that I'm going to go back to print titles and for each page that I print, because I'll be printing multiple, I want the first row to repeat, right? So I'm going to go here and just select this. And I also want column A and column B to repeat for each page as well because these are the title columns. So I'm gonna select A and B over here, and I'm gonna press OK. And while I'm at it, I'm also gonna select column A and B, and I'm gonna format them in such a way that it looks like these are title columns as well. So now I'm gonna go back to my print, okay? And it's selected print to PDF. And as you can see now, I can see my entire table here. This is part one of the table, which has the Row, first row and the first two columns and this is page one so if I go to page two as you can see it says page two over here and it shows me all of these things as well now by the way just before we continue I'd appreciate if you haven't already done so to subscribe now it really helps the channel and it motivates me to continue making these videos for you now I've selected banded columns for my table design that's why as you can see this is highlighted green but we can change the design and the format of the table however we want it to be. And this is page three. 
So as you can see, it's much more well organized. Now, one more thing I'm going to do is for my table, I'm going to switch off banded columns. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to page layout. And for the scale, as you can see, our paper still had a lot of room inside. So I'm going to change this to 100%. And let's go back to print and let's see what that does. So now as you can see, our page is much more fuller and the table is more bigger on the page. Um, and you can see these are the other pages as well. Everything is coming in well. And because we've highlighted the first two columns, uh, they're more prominent as well. So that's how we can format tables properly when we're printing Excel files into PDF format. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.